What's up, guys? My name is Jared. I'm Aaron. And this is the LAAV Podcast. Welcome to episode three. Is it a podcast? It's like, it's a, it's a podcast slash, no, it's just a podcast. Yeah. Are podcasts only audio? No. I don't know. Whatever. It's some of a show. A it's show? a broadcast. A broadcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, uh, yeah. So we, yeah, we're filmmakers here in Hollywood and uh, we have a lot of clients that uh, like doing live streams or live edit type situations. And we do a lot of really big, um, complicated live streams. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of lights, a lot of cameras, big crews. And, uh, but a lot of clients don't need that massive setup. So we wanted to come uh, come up with a, a more simple solution. Yeah. So and, uh, is. you know, some of that stuff is maybe the content itself doesn't need the, uh, big solution, you know, like two people in a room talking about filmmaking. Does it need a huge crew? I mean, we could have a 40 man crew for this. <laughs> Jesus. What would they all do? <laughs> <laughs> they set up they do the <laughs> i love when i think i shoot some shoots and i'm like it's so ma- like like you have enough people but you're like i don't even know what i would do with extra people i would love it yeah but like it would just be like making it more complicated because yeah. certain things just don't need it yeah, yeah. that's that's called uh, that's called a union set yeah yeah but like but even <laughs> if someone was like hey you're gonna make this thing and they were like you have 80 crew like yeah. you have the budget i'd be like i don't like something, some things you need it, you know, yeah, yeah, a big, yeah. huge show. Yeah. But like when some you're things. like, we're going to like do an interview, I'd be like, I don't know what to do with these 20 people. <laughs> like, what do you do? Anyway, today we're going to talk about the, uh, Fuji X-T3 and X-T4, which is soon to be released. The X-T3 is right here and it seems to be, it's actually kind of a favorite camera of ours. We like to use this one a lot. Yeah. We use it. Uh, it's weird though. We don't really use it on any, that's not true. When I was looking for photos through this, there was a whole bunch of stuff that I was like, I can't even show that because it's like, but I use it as like my B camera or like fast action stuff uh, for photography. But I don't know that there's the only real film or video that was like a paid or like client job that I use. Oh, no, I use it for an episode of Golf Cart. Oh, Some weird random thing happened and I just needed a camera yeah. uh, and I had it and I was like, I can't remember what it was. My, I, my other cameras were rented or something or yeah. whatever. Um, and then uh, we also used it as uh, in Bahamas. Yeah. yeah. Bahamas was super handy with this. This was super handy. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, I've never really used it for uh, like pro stuff. Uh, it's usually just like kind of my like take around camera. Yeah. Like to shoot photos on set and stuff and, uh, and a travel camera. Yeah. I don't really use it for video, even though it's like really good for it. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of like one of the first points is, is it's one of the great things about this camera is it's, it's travel ability and it's usability. Like you said, it's like your camera, you can throw it kind of in your bag yeah. when you're traveling to the Bahamas on a shoot yeah. as like your grab and go. It does video and stills. Yeah. Both really high quality. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then also it's like, if you're doing a, like a, a photo shoot, like we were doing like the, the fitness photo shoot oh, with yeah, Cherie, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that, it was a great BTS cam, but also it's cool. Cause you can throw like, even though you're using, yeah, like, no, your I Mark grabbed IV, it. Yeah. You were holding it. And then I was like, give me that thing. I want to shoot some photos like this. Yeah. Like, like with that camera, even cause I didn't want to use my 5d. Exactly. Like it was like the right camera for that thing. And I've used it on a couple of other, the pay jobs like that, where yeah. it was like, I'm shooting like a bunch of cool portraits, like a lot of light or something, but then I have to shoot something action. Yeah. And like, as much as I would rather wait and time it out, it's like, it's easier just to get someone running and go, yeah, I got the shot. Cause I only have five minutes. Yeah. But if I, it's weird. Cause if I had an hour, I'd be like, no, 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 no. We're taking single stills. Yeah. Like, like you're going to do this a hundred times. But when you're in a pinch, you're just like, nah. Just but if I have 10 minutes, I'm like, all right, cool. What's yeah. weird though is when I shot, uh, I shot P rod and I used this to shoot, uh, Paul Rodriguez yeah. skate. I love P-Rod. It was part of that shoot. And I was only shooting singles on all his skate tricks, but that's cause <laughs> I know how to shoot it. Yeah. So like I did even cross my mind that <laughs> I should do a the, sequence, yeah, the thing, even yeah. though like technically, yeah, I would have hit like almost every single one perfect, but it's like, I think he only did one thing twice. Like so you're, you're nailing this. The, yeah. You just happened to be nailing the, the but I couldn't do the timing for this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. uh, for like, uh, someone doing like shuttle drills. Yeah. But there's also a lot of depth. So like, whatever. So that's where it kind of makes more sense yeah. is like to be able to go in yeah, bursts yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like anything super fast. Yeah. It's like, it's not quite the high, the high, as high a quality as the 5d image was, but it was super fast. So. I think the image quality is really good. Actually, do you want to pull, nice. pull up some images? Oh, Cause yeah, I, we, yeah. we've, 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 we've shot a lot of stills on this between the two of us. Well, actually you more than me, but, uh that's you yeah that's me 
This is uh That's the fitness photo. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that photo is awesome. She looks good. It looks a little better in mine, I hope, but <laughs> you know, that's me on set. Uh I I don't know why, but oh Jesus. I use this for stuff like this, just shooting good, really nice looking behind the scenes yeah, shots. Yeah, yeah. That only take a second. Like you're like click. That's yeah, like, that's like it. grab and go usability yeah, yeah. of this camera, which is so nice. Uh, yeah. that's you filming Rachel. I don't know why I'm looking there. Uh Again, on set, the behind the scenes, behind the scenes. So these are actually, I think this is promo. This is promo for one of those live streams. Yeah. Uh, maybe there's context to how many people are really there. Uh, you could kind of tell. It's like a crew of six or seven in Which, a huge stage. Was that for Twitch or was that yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, we had like 40, yeah, 50 yeah. people on Well, it. no, this was the promo stuff. So there was, oh, it yeah, was yeah, only yeah. like eight crew. Okay. Only eight crew, you yeah, know? Yeah. And then that's like. The, uh, camera department and lighting and crew yeah. not like there's producers and yeah. whatever else with client and everything else client yeah. yeah and like people handing the people the thing like so PAs and stuff on that was this like your BTS cam or was this you're actually pro using this to do still oh uh, that was promo? just uh, I don't know that's a good question. I don't even know. You remember? I can't remember. Yeah. I can't remember if I had a if I had the videotape stuff, maybe. Like yeah. I don't know why I call it videotape, but if, if I was doing like anything motion, I might have used How it. How old are you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, no. I used it all because it was a uh, silent shutter. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So I could shutter. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. So I couldn't use the 5D even if I wanted to. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The silent shutter. So like yeah. that's why it's so awesome for BTS. Good good catch. Oh, but yeah, so here's the next thing. Ooh. You know, my buddy Blake, he's a director. He got his uh, NHRA, like NASCAR, li not NASCAR, a uh, drag license. And, you know, you just bring it with and shoot yeah. a dope portrait. The like, colors come through really yeah. good on this camera. And if I, f if I like, uh, Photoshop the power lines and shit, and, yeah. like, you know, like, it would just look legit. And then I shoot stuff like... Uh, Artistic photos, <laughs> autistic photos. Yeah, something. Who knows? <laughs> or like travel cam when we went to China, yeah, so Hong Kong. And he, it's yes, perfect. It's tra perfect travel like cam. Yeah, thirty-five on it. You know, you want to take a picture of your meat princess at a Chinese restaurant, dude. Meat you princess. You got it. You know, <laughs> the low light's pretty good. I mean, it's not the most creative. I don't even know what I. I was probably just walking by. Actually, you're, but, if you look, you're still retaining a lot of yeah. like the, a lot of the highlights, yeah. like which are LED. I mean, obviously, like it's blown out up here, but like yeah. you're still you're still able to get a lot of which like, is crazy. Yeah, and it's super. It's just dark, walking yeah. by. Um, that's inside one of the casinos in uh, Macau. Oh, and then here's uh oh Bahamas. That's, that's us. the Bahamas. So yeah, this was we shot shot this photo with it, but this was with it. It's with the wreckage yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like once we weren't really filming, that shit was crazy. If I if I'm not if I'm if I'm not correct, I believe the cover photo for for your website was taken on this camera by me of you in the Bahamas in front of a boat. Oh yeah, is that on here? I don't know if it's on here. Um, it's not on here. I don't think. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, this is just one of the uh, in the Bahamas. It was right after Hurricane Dorian, and this is one of the uh, did you, like did buildings you at. The, huh? Oh no! 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 Like no! I know. That's what I'm saying. That's, it looks crazy. It's so crazy. Yeah, yeah. The image, the image you can. And get like, out. so th this was just torn apart. This is one of the port buildings, and no, not there anymore. Yeah. Uh, this is. <laughs> That's Mike Mike. Mike. Yeah, Mike Mike. Mike Mike. Yeah, that was our uh, Navy SEAL uh, our escort. Bodyguards. He was our bodyguard, and. Uh, my joke was that the bodyguards were smaller than me, <laughs> <laughs> but they were Navy SEALs, so they could kill. I you. wouldn't really want to mess with him. He's like a Mike little or rhino. Kill, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the last day. Oh, that picture is here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is uh, the last day at the Baha. Or, me yeah, flying my drone. Days. And that. then this is a photo he was talking yeah, about yeah, and for yeah. this thing. But like, look at the sky. It's crazy. And I'm wearing black and there's detail on the that's, black. That's what I'm saying. Like, you could see the stretch marks. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I, stretch marks on the shirt. No, no. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we, <laughs> we, 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 we you already photoshopped out. Oh, you, know, stretch marks. you know what's crazy is this next one. This is from that shoot I was talking about when I was using it for uh, fast, fast moving action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a video element that we shot on Alexa, and then I was shooting stills, and half of them were 5D, and then some were behind the scenes because I'm like kind of stealing shots too. Yeah. Like if they were doing an interview, I'd grab a couple as behind the scenes. Like, like it was actually a lot of weirdness, but uh, yeah, it was cool. So like this worked great for that. Like for that job, I couldn't even do it with a regular shuttered camera yeah yeah uh, i didn't need to worry about video at all nice but then also it worked for the uh action the drills because yeah as long as it's yeah. bright um another behind the scenes danny trejo just because isn't that picture it, hanging in your bathroom 
the picture from that day that I sh- yeah. the portrait I shot of him. Yeah, I look at him every time I take yeah. a piss in your bathroom. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, Danny sent us some donuts or tacos or uh, burritos. Gotta love Trejo's tacos. Trejo's tacos. If we get a sponsorship, that'd be fantastic. Just saying. I like it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is another shoot. I, uh, Joseph shot this. <laughs> I just think it's funny because I'm not using the camera oh. for some reason. That made me laugh. We forgot to talk about our our, our live editor and producer Joseph, technical behind director. The, behind, yeah, te- tech he's director. He's also our distro. <laughs> he's also he's our, our distro. That's guy. true. He's our that's distro. A little inside joke. That's what he's best at. Yeah, Joseph's best at distribution and nothing else. Yeah, nothing else. <laughs> uh, Wait, stop. Hold on. Look at yeah. go back. Look at look at my bicep. Look at my white ass bicep oh. though. So dumb. I thought it was something serious. <laughs> then that's Devin shooting. Uh, those are with the Gemini's. I love his grip on that Gemini. Oh, is the, that his, uh, the grip? Yeah, but he yeah, has yeah. like the good cowboy style handle. Yeah. Uh, this dude's favorite. Dude, you got to send me this picture. I need to <laughs> on the Instagram. This. He's asked me for this so many times, and I won't like send once. it to him. <laughs> it's like twice. It's like maybe twice. I was just like, no. And so I don't know why the, I found these because I was searching the file name, yeah. not like folders because i'm terrible at organization and uh i have all these photos i took in uh in india when we were there but they're with the x 100 f or whatever like go, the go to the india photos so the, the audience can see yeah they're the um this is like just the point and shoot one yeah and like so we ended up using this and it was funny because we the first one time we shot this uh my buddy was like you have to use this 35 millimeter lens to this portlet so it could be a portrait so it could be really shallow and i was like well, I wouldn't go 35 if we're trying to go shallow. I'd go 85. Yeah, you but as, uh, he had a super fast, and I was like, oh, you just mean sh-? Like, okay, cool. And we shot it, but then this is no different because he used to have a, a cleft lip. Yeah. Uh, so the pre-photo, but like this, it looks as good as their 5D shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'd say even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, it looked amazing, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's, so it's like, it's just, you know, if you have a good lens and a camera, but this is, yeah, point and shoot. This is, uh, like, we were, we were, like, this is what Uber looks like in India. <laughs> That's, I love Dude, it's crazy. That Uber. The whole trip <laughs> is just stuff like that where, like, cars full of people hang just, just stacked. And you're like, all right, I guess. Like, like this is kind of scary, but That's all right. Awesome. And then this is what the road looked like. Because I take all these photos all the time. Yeah. I don't know why. Anytime there's something on a dashboard and I'm in the back. But yeah, all these motorcycles are flying. And like this dude may just go onto the other shoulder and then come back. And everyone just moves around <laughs> everyone. Just survive. There's like a, there's a general place people are. But like it isn't really like only on the left side. It's either yeah. or. Like we're here, we're there. There's those traffic videos of India. Yeah. Where they show like in intersections. And it's just like just it's mad max yeah like, yeah it's, it's like, dude it's so crazy there well, real quick while we're going through these are there anything what are the things about the the, the xt3 and the xt4 coming out that you don't like is there anything that like um okay because for me it's the grip i don't yeah so there's it. a couple of things and they fix most of them in the xt4 okay uh there's uh the grip yeah which me for like the physical stuff is a bigger deal it's like because the hands they, just dwarf well the they whole, added like, thing, uh you know? they like, added the ibis and like I know you really like that. I don't really care. Like, I just, that's not, I just, it, it would, it's beneficial a lot of the time. And yeah. a lot of times it's not beneficial. It's also like 6.5 stops of Ibis. And I don't know what one stop of Ibis is. <laughs> Neither so I. that might be really good or terrible. Cause I didn't know you could gauge image stabilization in a stop. stops, but they kind of do it now. And I, I don't, I don't actually understand what it means, yeah. which is weird. I don't Neither know if do anyone I. does. Anyone, someone in the comments, tell us what is, what, how does Ibis how does Ibis work? What is an F stop of Ibis? How do you measure? Or not an F, yeah, how, but a stop. Yeah, yeah. Um, they had a digital IS. They, so, uh, yeah, so digital IS, that combined. On top of this, yeah. of, of le- IS and well, lens. Do a walking shot, and then it's going to go all over the place anyways and be even worse. I don't know. I feel like I feel like from what I've it seen. It never fixes it. It adjusts the image. But then, so do that in slow-mo and if, add a little warp stabilizer. If you add it already and just steady, it's fine, but it's not like you can go do a walk yeah, and talk. Yeah, I wouldn't run. Yeah, it's just, would, yeah, it's, it's going to jello everything. Yeah, you like yeah. go crazy. I mean, it's any camera. But I do uh, feel like it, yeah. so this, the, the tests I've seen for the X-T4, the internal this looks, Yeah, depending great, on what they're doing, know? it looks pretty good. Uh, the uh, They added a new sensor, which is probably just a little better, a little faster. It does 240 frames in slow motion, which was kind of the downfall of this. Yeah. Uh, this thing does, only did 60, I think. Yeah. But it's a really good codec. It's just... 60 uh, looks good in the Bahamas. I remember... I, and that's the other thing, too. Again, it's that, it's that, it's that grab-and-go nature to this yeah. thing. You were doing stills with it one morning. I saw a cool shot in some wreckage with a plane. Yeah. 
And I was just like, hey, can I borrow, can, can I just borrow yeah. the XT3 real quick? I grabbed the XT3, turned it to like 60 frames, 4K 60 yeah. frames. I ran over and got some like really cool yeah, handheld yeah, stuff. Yeah. It looks great. The, the quality is really, really nice for video. And it's just like, it was just a grab and go moment. We were we were running black magic cameras on that gig, but yeah. it's just like those weren't built yet. This was well, quick enough to the, just go. Uh, yeah, well, there was points where I was like helping unload stuff and I was like shooting photos and I put the camera down and throw a couple things and then I'd be like, oh, I should probably get video from inside the plane of us unloading. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I just turn it on. But if I had the black magic, there would be no way for me to do it. Like a big camera, you know, yeah, whatever yeah. big camera, because even whether it's a, a red or whatever, it's like, you're going to have to put that down over here and then do this. And then where's my photo camera if we're yeah. trying to do both, you know? And it turns into... That's a lot. Yeah, That's it turns a into a lot. Yeah. Where it turns into a big production where every person has one job, not all of us doing two, three, three four, yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. And then also trying to help with the effort of fixing the yeah. place, you know? Uh -huh. Like, like... Like the the worst thing when we were there was like I just want to be building the tents I just want to be doing the physical things doing good for goodness sake yeah doing good for goodness sake That's what exactly we did. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah a little reminder and you know what this helps us <laughs> when you do good stuff you get a broken, broken pinky. pinky that's that's not entirely your fault that's that was the fault of another on on the crew yeah if I mean, we it wasn't really it wasn't really anyone's fault but yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you well, know, but at least I could, I have a scar to remember <laughs> our time yeah, yeah. in the Bahamas. That was gnarly. <laughs> um, what are some other things the XT4 uh, is going to do? The XT3 doesn't oh, do. Oh, so like, yeah, they improved all that stuff, but the physical stuff, like the bigger grip, yeah. that's like something into, this is just a little too small for me to hold. Um, so a bigger grip would be nice. I feel like I'm like holding a, like a Sony a seven S square box. Yeah. I like all the mechanical dials and I, I do kept too, them actually. and it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's so fast. It's quick. To if you know what you're doing, yeah, so it's the best yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, they have a bigger battery with the bigger grip. So I didn't have too many issues with the battery life. Like occasionally no, no. it wasn't the best, but it was like an hour. It wasn't black magic pockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't, yeah, it was a usable battery. For sure. Right. And then now um, it's apparently like, I don't know, 30, 40% longer, which is oh, like, that's, that's a like lot. a legitimate yeah. battery, you know? Okay. Like that's a V mount on the back of a red. It's lasting an hour and a half. For you know? sure. Just yeah. Maybe two hours, maybe three, depending how big it is. That's a uh, massive upgrade. Uh, and yeah, that's probably the biggest things for me with it. Uh, the faster, the slow motion would be cool. Yeah, I think it, so. It, it can do 120 on XT4, like because like without such a massive crop and without such high compression, the 240 in HD is yeah. pretty heavily compressed. But I think the XT4, its 120 is going to be a lot better than you know. Like, yeah, yeah, than, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that is definitely like an upgrade. And I'm always looking for like the best slow mo I can get and. Yeah, I mean, you it's know. not going to be the best slow-mo, but the... Uh, but it, for the, the size, oh, dude, for yeah, the form factor, crazy. yeah, exactly. Like, the 240 is not going to look good. It doesn't. Like, I mean, I've seen examples. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's like, it's, yeah, it's slow motion, but it's artifacted and it's whatever. But like, all right, so but that's an extreme don't bother. Yeah. How often are you really 120 using 120 is like more than enough for 90% of what you'd be shooting with this. Exactly. You know, if you need super slow, then you get a red or you get a Phantom <laughs> Flex. Or Sony. Nah. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> they hold do the high frame rates, but you won't like what you see. <laughs> Sony, we're, we also like a sponsorship. While, oh, while yeah. Right. No, it looks great. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. It depends. I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen Sony footage that looks really good that you would never guess. And then I've seen stuff where I'm like, oh, yeah. that's a Sony video camera. Because it looks yeah, like Yeah, and you're yeah. like, yeah. And then it's the same when you see people work with them. Some people build them into cinema rigs, and you're like, oh, that like seems like it actually functions pretty well like this. And then other people do like the handle, and you're like, I don't understand why you're doing an ENG style. <laughs> like, like, it's yeah. cool, but like, how much, like, wh what do you need to shoulder mount anything anymore? Uh -huh. That's I also, mean, in certain scenarios, it makes sense, but like you as your, your flexibility, yeah, yeah, you your creativity, a lot, yeah, as like your go-to mode, yeah, like shoulder no. mount only. No, if you're in reality, maybe, yeah, but even but then, even then, yeah, well, you won't necessarily need to, need to. You could go back and forth or yeah. easy rig it, and it would look better. Yeah. Although that's kind of a good spot for eye line. You know, you don't want to do everything like. Yeah, but then, but then everything, I mean, on just on a creative note, like the one thing, which again, it works great for like reality to it in a sense. But the problem with that is, is ever humans already see the world from eyeline anyway, all the time. Like, yeah, but I want to make people look good. So if you like, when you shoot low, 
I mean, they might look powerful, but you get double chin, you get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, well, maybe just be taller. You know, you could do that. I can't. I don't want to hold a thing up here. Yeah, sometimes you get you need to grow a little taller, bro. <laughs> I love that you're telling me to get taller. <laughs> this guy. Uh, anyway, that's I don't know. That's the XT three. XT three. Any XT four. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I kind of didn't. I was gonna sell this, and then now when we've talked, the more we've talked about it, I'm like, oh, maybe I should get that XT four. <laughs> You just, you just, we just convinced yourself to buy the XT4. It's so dumb. Uh, before we wrap this up, any other any cool stories? Any other uh, no. insight, in, useful information on the XT3, XT4 you think people should know about or that you just think is interesting? The lenses are amazing and they're oh. pretty cheap. So they do. The one thing about the XT3, I think it's the same with the XT4, is you need your own unique set of lenses. Well, it's only just are a, for this. Uh, uh, X mount or whatever, yeah, the Fuji. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. yeah, they're, they're native to this, but they're uh, they're pretty cheap. For what they are, they're 1.2, 1. 1. 1.4, yeah. really sharp. They're also not that big because it's a, a APS-C size sensor, like Super 35. Yeah. So they don't, they're not built in the full frame factor. So it's, again, good for travel and stuff. But yeah, like, I think, I mean, I don't know how many I have, but I haven't spent that much money on them. And I have a 35, a, uh, whatever the equivalent is. This is like the 85, yeah, the 50, the 62, and then the fisheye. Yeah. And it covers everything. Fisheye was dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like everything yeah. but the fisheye is fast. So you didn't spend too much money, but you got basically a, a whole lens kit of like yeah. really good lenses that work for this mount. Yeah. And then it will also work for the XT4 yeah. should you want to buy Cause the like, XT4. Yeah. I don't even, I guess on Canon, it's like you could do all Sigmas, but then you can't. You can't autofocus with those. So then it's like all L lenses. And that's, I mean, that's you could buy like the, almost all these for the price of like one L lens. Well, yeah. depending on the lens. Depending. Yeah. So it's like, all right, you have a kit of primes and a zoom. And they're fast. Like you said, he goes, this is a 1.2. Like, yeah. yeah and I think the other ones are one four or something. Yeah. And they're sharp. I mean, like even the image quality, it's like you can, you get such good detail out of these. So it's like, it's yeah, actually, it's, pretty, it's worth it's it. You know, crazy. Anyway, Honestly, yeah. we'll wrap this up. This was a good uh, XT3, XT4 episode. Uh, follow us on Instagram at LAAV Club. Yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to go into distro soon. Yeah, we're, we, are, we got our tech producer, Joseph, handling the distro for us. Very good with international him. sales. The, oh, Joseph's only good at distro, though. Like that's He's basically incompetent at everything else.